Welcome to the exciting journey of Python scripting. Previously, we have seen how we can use bash scripting and automate a lot of Linux operating system related tasks. Why are we learning Python? Being DevOps, we would be managing different kinds of systems. We would be managing virtual environments. We would be managing or automating cloud environments. So there is more, not just Linux systems to automate. Plus bash scripting we have seen was getting more and more complicated. Python is, has got a huge popularity among uh, system administrators, DevOps, uh, developers. I believe it's for one simple reason. And that is Python is simple, but yet very powerful. When I say simple, it's even simpler than bash scripting. Python syntax is very easy to read and very easy even to write. Python is a high level language and it's an interpreted language. So when we write a Python code, we don't need to compile it and then execute it. Like for example, in C, Java, .NET, these are compiled languages. So we need a compiler. We compile the language, we compile the code, and then we run that compiled code. But in Python, it's done in the runtime. So we write the Python code, we execute that and in the runtime, the Python is interpreted. So we will need a Python interpreter. Python is an interpreted language. You need an interpreter. So you write the Python code in any text file and then you execute that on the interpreter. Interpreter will read the Python code and execute it and return the output. Python is also interactive. Just like our bash shell, we interact with the shell, we execute commands on the shell. With Python, we get a Python prompt or you can say Python shell and we can interact with, interact with it. Python is also object oriented, but we are not going to see object oriented style in this course. At so many places, Python is used as a beginner's language. Gone are those days when C used to be the beginner's language. Now Python is the new beginner's language. It's very simple reason. Python is easy to read and easy to write. It has very less syntax, but still it can do very powerful computations. Now let's see how to set up Python. Or to be specific, how to set up Python interpreter. In this course, we would be going with Python 2.7, which is still powerful, still popular. Python 3 is out there from some, from some time and it's also is being used in so many places. And there are some differences between Python 2 and Python 3 syntax. So let's see how we can set up Python interpreter on Windows system.